So we're going to assess this baby for a pneumothorax. So what um, exam findings are you looking for? So for a physical exam, I would look for the presence of unequal breath sounds mm -hmm. and also some vital sign changes, including desaturations, hemodynamic instability represented in tachycardia or hypotension. Perfect. So we come to the baby and first thing we want to do is listen to the breath sounds, right? After we've noticed some vital sign changes. Okay. Do you have any concerns? I have unequal breath sounds on the left chest. Okay. Diminished. So the next thing we can do is transilluminate the chest. And to do that, if we're concerned about the left side, we'll take the transilluminator, sorry, uh, and place it in the axilla, and then we'll see the entire left side light up if there's a pneumothorax. If the baby is stable and time allows, you may obtain a chest x-ray prior to needle thoracentesis to confirm your suspicion. However, if the baby is unstable, proceed with the needle thoracentesis emergently. So we now have a pneumothorax on the left side. So we want to set up for a needle decompression. Okay, so we'll go set up our supplies now. All right, so supplies that you need for a needle decompression are a um, 24 gauge butterfly needle. We have a three-way stopcock. And then we have a large caliber syringe that we can pull the air off with. To prep the area, you want an alcohol swab and you want a piece of gauze. Okay, so we'll set up our, um, what's called a dart now. So um, if you want to open those supplies. So now we have our whole system. We have our needle, stopcock, and this okay. syringe. So before I pull the air out, I want to make sure that I know which way the stopcock should be facing. Perfect. So when you pull air off, you're going to have the stopcock off to here. So the air is flowing through the uh, butterfly, through the syringe. Okay. Then you want to empty the air, so when you empty it to pull off another syringe, you'll turn the stopcock piece off to the butterfly, and you can push the air back through this side port. Then when you want to pull air off again, you'll turn the stopcock back to off to the side port so that you can now pull more air. Okay, thank you. Okay, so first steps for a needle thoracentesis are that we're going to clean the area. I will go ahead and open my gauze for afterwards. Okay, just to remind you, this is a clean procedure, so ensuring that you have alcohol. All right, so we swab the area, and the location we're going to go in is the mid clavicular line in the second intercostal space. You do want to make sure that you're going above the rib to avoid the neurovascular structures. Okay, so we've cleaned our area and prepped it. We're going to take our needle and we're open to um, the baby and to the syringe. So mid clavicular, come down to the second intercostal space and we enter the space at a 90 degree angle. Go straight in. All right, then you can pull off air. And as you pull off air and evacuate the pneumothorax, you will start to meet some resistance. Okay. 20 cc's. I'll pull off 20 more cc's. Okay. Let me know if you feel resistance. Starting to feel a little bit of resistance. Okay. 20 cc's. Still was able to pull some off, so I'll do uh, a little bit more here, meeting some resistance at 5 cc's. Okay, excellent. 
All right, so now we've evacuated the pneumothorax, so we pull out the needle and we cover it with gauze. Forget how this, okay. And we'll dispose of our needle appropriately. Then we can do this sharp and you'll dispose of it. And then we'll cover the area with a bandage. Okay, and now our vital signs have stabilized and our saturations are back in the normal range with normal heart rate and blood pressure.